Hi guys, <clears throat> so I'm back in my studio today. I just wanted to play around, so I, I had this idea of using this top of this soup um, lid. Can't, God, I can't think. And then I put it on one of my little pipes. I don't know if the holes are going to be too big in this, but I thought I'd give it a try. So I'm going to use black, which is black house paint with Floetrol. Um, I have a light peach, which I'm not sure the name of it, but it's a light peach. I have um, apple barrel tropic orange. Uh, I don't know what this one is either. Um, aqua green, something like that. I have Liquitex uh, Brilliant Yellow Green, and then I have Magenta. So I'm going to layer them. I'm going to do black and then each color. I might add a little bit of white. Maybe I should add white instead of black, because these are light, light um, springish colors. I think I'm going to do white instead of the black, actually. So with that... Let's just see what we can do. See what it looks like. It's probably going to fall right through these holes, but we don't know unless we try it, right? There's my light. I like what's coming out so far. This is kind of like a uh, sink strainer pour. I tried that and it didn't work very well for me. And this might not work for me either, but we will see. You can probably start seeing it coming out the bottom. And it looks pretty cool. I do have three and one um, silicone in my paints too. If it doesn't turn out, I just got a day to play in the in the shop with paints. Nothing, no better therapy, I don't think. I am using an older um, canvas too. You could probably see the colors through, but it is gessoed. I probably don't have enough gesso on it, but. It's warmed up some around here, and today I've escorted three bees out of my shop, and that doesn't impress me any. We had a horrible time with bees here last year. spun it off the top there.
I'll do one more round of color. Yeah, I think I need one more layer of color, for sure. I keep hitting that, and I'm afraid I'm going to knock it off of there. It doesn't want to come out of certain holes. I don't understand. It's all the same thickness. My canvas is leaning. It's okay. This is going to be the last one, I think. Because if I need to, I can add white paint to my edges if I don't have enough paint. I kind of was hoping to use all these up because they're kind of old, but that's not going to happen, I don't think. I am going to use up the magenta though because it's almost dead and the one of the corals I think. <clears throat> Ooh, 
that was really thick. Weird. I can already tell I'm not going to like this. It's not my style of a pour, but... Never hurts to try. Play around, see what you come up with. Okay, there's that one's done. One's done. And that one's done. Well, I finished off three of them. I got half of my goal done. Okay, I'll let it sit for a minute. I'm about ready to lose this side. It's by no means my type of cup of tea, but you know. It might be somebody else's. Maybe they want to try it. But this is not my style of painting. But when I move it around, it might, I might go, Wow! I really like that. I don't think that's going to happen. don't have any cells popping up either which I'm kind of that kind of bums me out because I know I've got the three to one silicone in it and maybe once I move it <laughs> that paint's in there deep <laughs>
This canvas may just get gessoed again. I do like that middle though. It looks like a flower. I just got to get it moved. See the flower in the middle? No, I lost it. Dang it. Well, it's still kind of there, but not the way I liked it. I lost a lot of paint, but that's okay. I can dip cabochons in them, make some jewelry. I got some pretty cells in it. It's just what, not what I was going for. It kind of bums me out. Everybody does the sink strainer where they get this really cool looking design and. I just can't master that one. <laughs> Let's see what we do get with the torch. I'm about to do my napkin in there. I like these colors right here. I think that's really pretty. And I like how it's turning up out here, too. I mean, maybe it won't get tossed. <laughs> I'm my own worst critic, I know. We all are. It was a fun experiment just to see what it would do. Look at all the cells. I lost all of my green except for right there. But, you know, there's a lot of paint here and once it dries it could start popping up in different spots. So, you just never know. Okay, well... It's not bad. Not my thing, but it's not bad. But it has lots of cells popping up as I'm talking. And I think I'll, uh, I'm going to give it a couple minutes and then we're going to come back to it. So I'm going to shut the camera off for a little bit and come back. Okay, guys, I'm back. So, I have left this for about 45 minutes now. Um, it's still not my favorite. It's not my kind of painting. 
But with that said, I tried some different and I got to play with paint today. Sometimes you just need that therapy. So I am going to post this video just because of that and somebody may get great results with this and I hope to see it. So anyway, have a great day. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Bye now.